got 0.44 millimeters of total backlash. And the maximum really should be 0.38 millimeters of backlash. Okay, we're going to measure the uh, backlash here on a 7.5 inch Ford. Got a little kid here, magnetic uh, stand and the indicator. They're about 22 bucks off eBay. But in this book here, that's uh, one of them shows the backlash to be between 11 in 16 thou, this is a mistake here in the book, which is a metric 0.28 to 0.41 millimeters. And here in the Ford book it shows preferred 0.3 to 0.38, which is 12 to 15 thousandths of an inch, 0.2 to 0.38, 8 to 15 thousandths. And that's in a Ford um, 1994 shop manual. This book here is a the differential book here, fifth ed, second edition by Rear Ends Only. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that here underneath the car real quick. Okay, now we've got the indicator on here. It's magnetically hooked up to here. Um, this whole thing was like 22 bucks off of eBay, almost too cheap. Hard to believe that's a midget Toyo, but it's in metric, which isn't, uh, it's got to get used to it. So the pinion, if I go back and forth. Got 0.44 millimeters of total backlash. And the maximum really should be 0.38 millimeters of backlash. And that's with a, a ring gear that is 120,000 miles on this car and this went underwater in Katrina and uh, it's to where maybe the last uh, few thousand it didn't have any oil in it probably I mean the seals went bad it was a little bit low so uh, I'm not going to take this apart because I've got a I'm replacing the axles here I just wanted to see how much in dire straits I was here for the uh, I'm on beyond what the spec should be. I mean, I can drive with this thing, but sometime I'm gonna have to go through and replace the ring gear and the pinion in there. Okay, so what I'm doing is that the pinion is not moving, and I'm moving this back and forth. And then the indicator that I've got over here is measuring toward the edge is how much it's clunking back and forth. That's got a lot. This is about 0.44 millimeters. And just without having my calculator here out of hand, uh, it's about probably 17, 18 thou. Okay, this indicator here course this has got a magnetic mount on here and so you find some place you can stick it on and that's the lock and this gizmo here you want to have it so it's toward the edge here so you goof around and all this is adjustable and you try to find here where you can get it to measure And this is backed out, this bolt here, because I'm going to go ahead and pull this out to get the axles out. This is actually, I've already loosened this up from a week ago. Pull this. And I'll go ahead and pull this pinion shaft out. So, I just went through a second ago and undid this. This was really tight. I spent a week or two ago, I had to get a special wrench to get that off there. And to get this off, you got to get it over to about, in this particular seven and a half inch Ford, you got to get it to like this, snake it out. But these can break off. There's a whole bunch of other videos floating around the web about that. 
and then this will pull through normally like that you have to pay up to get a magnet to get it out of there <laughs> 